Welcome back to another review with me, Kevin, from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week, I've got a bottle I've never tried before. It's unopened. It was a Christmas gift. And this is me just getting around to trying it. So I thought I would share the experience with you guys. Um, it's a Campbelltown, Glen Scotia. Campbelltown, I do really enjoy. I've tried some Glen Scotias, which I've not had a bad one yet. I love my Springbanks, my Coquerins. So I'm expecting good things from it, I, I hope. The only thing... <clears throat> Says it's 40% ABV, slightly low for what I usually prefer. But this is Glen Scotia, the harbour or Campbelltown Harbour, which they've called it's exclusive to Waitrose and Tesco in Scotland. 100% uh, first fill bourbon cast maturation, but it's always been watered down to 40% just to make it a bit more appealing to the, no, I wouldn't say everyday drinker, but the 40% ABV is usually what you find in supermarkets. I very rarely find something. 46 and above to be honest but I don't know what to expect <clears throat> sorry I don't know what to expect from this it's going to be a little bit different um, not the typical Glen Scotia I do really enjoy the double cask which is a Pedro Jimenez and Sherry finish which is really really good so this could have hints of that to it the only difference being it's got a full bourbon maturation from 100% first fill so I'm going to expect sweet notes um just a little bit sugary maybe, but also that kind of wet Campbelltown style. So 40% ABV, non-age statement. I'm going to suspect it's coloured. There's nothing on here to say that it's um, that it's natural colour, but I'm going to say there probably is. Um, yes, there's nothing on here to say not, and it's probably also chill forward. But that's okay. Doesn't mean it's going to be bad whiskey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it first, we'll get it in the glass. Excuse the hair, excuse everything, I've been out uh, doing some shopping, I had my hat on. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't want to, I could be bored doing my hair when I came in, so it's quite all over the place. Just pretend we've been down in, in Campbelltown to collect this, why don't we? That's what your hair ends up like anyway when you're right on the coast. So you can get a good pop. Oh, that's a really good one. It's nice in the nose straight away through the glass. Let's get in the glass here. A nice wee glug. Well, for me. So as we say, 40% ABV, probably got colour in it. It's probably been chill filtered. Is that going to extract any flavours from it? I think it's going to make it a lot softer, very easy, maybe not longevity in the mouth. But that's fine. So let's have a look on the nose. We'll have a wee smell first. Definitely has that Campbelltown character, that kind of wet saltiness to it. The tiniest, tiniest hint of peat, if you would say. It's, it's very fruity. Kind of sweet fruits. Tin syrupy fruits again. Maybe lemony, like a zest, like zest of lemon as well. So it's got the sharp fruit, it's got sweet fruit. Got that typical Campbelltown smell to it as well. And then it's got like um shortbread, like a caramel shortbread type thing going on with it as well. It's actually very, I'd say impressive on the nose. I didn't expect it to have as much as what it does. Be tiny hint of salt, like kind of seawater, you know, just it's got that wee tinge to it as well. Very, very nice. Well, let's try it in the palette anyway. So, slander folks, see how we get on. It's really nice. The um, it does disappear quite quickly. It excites the palate straight away once it hits the hits the tongue, and then once it goes down, it's just kind of gone. And it's just been watered down to forty percent, but it's still got. There's a tiny bit of peat smoke that comes through now. It's not major there. It's just a hint of it, 
I think the PPM level that these guys do is either 19 or 25 is what it is. So it's not high up there. It's it's noticeable, but it could throw you off if you had a blind taste and to think if there's peak there, but slight little bit of peak. It's still sweet. You still get that kind of salty brine note to it as well. And quite it's a little bit malty, I would say. But it's really good. I quite quite enjoy that. I think this is a nice wee reach to the um the cupboard if you're struggling for something and you'll enjoy it. Start of a night, go for it. As my mum actually bought me this for my Christmas. Um, I, I knew I didn't have any Glen Scotia on there and she did ask if I wanted a Glen Scotia or Loch Lomond. <coughs> and then saying that they're both from the same group, uh, owned by Loch Lomond Group. And I went for this because I have a Loch Lomond sitting there. So I'm enjoying it. <coughs> it's just very easy sipping whiskey. Good introduction to whiskey. A nice, easy Campbelltown introduction as well because sometimes Springbank can be powerful right in there, high ABVs. I don't think I've ever seen them have anything at forty percent. But then you've got this. This could be your introduction to Campbelltown because Campbelltown at one point used to be the capital of whiskey making in the world. We used to have over thirty distilleries in the eighteen hundreds to early nineteen hundreds, and then that all flew away. Campbelltown uh, stayed because Springbank were family owned and they got it, and then I think. Glen Scotia, by the skin of their teeth, were able to, to stay alive. And now look at them. So great, great whiskey. Really do enjoy it. I've tried a lot of their stuff. This is one, I probably would keep this on the shelf. I don't know what the price of it was. I think next time I go to Tesco, I'll have a wee look and see what it's sitting at to, to know if it's something that will replenish. Even though it's 40% ABV, we'll put a little bit of water in it. We'll see if it's going to change it in any way whatsoever. Just a wee good look. You can see the oil slightly just separating from it, but it goes quite quickly just because it's watered down already. I always like whiskey to cast strength because I always think you can always add water to whiskey, you can never take it away. So it's got a little bit more funk now on the nose, I would say. It's got a kind of more wood influence coming through from it, like that more a big bit of oak, like wood shavings. But that citrus blast hits it's more lemony now that the syrup kind of goes away. But a wee bit of salt, salt water stays. Slange again, let's try it without. It doesn't change much. I feel. I missed a lot of flavour now with it on the palate. I think it's just very easy drinking now. So I'm going to say I do prefer this one without water. Adding the water just seems to take some of a lot of the flavour away from either. I kind of missed a lot of it. And sometimes with whisk it that I, I can find dangerous to drink because I like to enjoy the flavour of whiskey. I like to take a sip and enjoy it and sit there and try and break it down and what am I tasting, what can I get? But when you get something like that, you feel like you need to go back to the glass quicker to get another drink. And it can go quite quickly. A whiskey at very uh, lower ABV, I can find personally, because I'm just always wanting to kind of know what flavour I'm getting and what I'm missing. But this has been an enjoyable whiskey, for sure. Would recommend it if you've got a Tesco there or a Waitrose and you're in Scotland. This is one you can pick up. Um, Price-wise, again, I'm not too sure. I'm going to say £30 or £35. I wouldn't be expecting any more than that. So I'm going to, in fact, I'll say top figure 30 I would think £30 for this for 40% ABV um, supermarket branded for them, just for them. But it's good. The only annoying thing about this is it's not shelf friendly. So when you try and put this on your whiskey shelf, it's got that wee extra bit of height to it and it doesn't like to fit in. So you have to put it on the floor or find another, another area or make a taller a taller shelf. But that was the only thing. I do like the bottle. I think it's a really nice shape. It's quite elegant. Everything that's on there. 
They do have taste notes, which I've not really read, but I will maybe have a look at them later. But really good whiskey. Enjoy it. Recommend it. And that's it for, for today. I'd like to say a huge thanks to everyone who's been supporting me and still watching and subscribing. I'm close to 300 now, something I never thought I would get. Um, so who knows where this one's going to take me. Last week's video was just off the cusp, but this is what we've got. Tomorrow's payday for me. Um, so I'm thinking about going to the supermarket with maybe £30 again and seeing just supermarket whiskey not going to my special shop but what I can find in a supermarket and just go with it and we'll do a review on a whiskey at £30 or less just to see that stuff that we can maybe get a hand on a lot more frequently but I've been Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey thanks for joining and join me next week and let's talk whiskey Thank you, folks.